Hello, this is Miss Paco and this is a video about how to sew a very simple skirt with elastic waistline. Uh, for my students, if you are sewing a skirt, you have to watch the video series about how to make a simple shopping bag because most of the skills, the little basics of sewing, you will learn from that and it's almost the same that we are using here. So first you are going to cut out two pieces of fabric and according to your measurements you will have your pattern pieces and you will cut them out just as the bag, put the paper on the fabric, pin and cut next to the paper. After that we are going to iron the two edges of the fabric and I put some marks here so I don't forget. One shows that the top is that way and you will iron one centimeter and then four centimeters. The other shows the bottom is that way and there you will iron one centimeter and then one centimeter again. Uh, for me this wasn't really important to say which is the top and which is the bottom because you can see the fairies it shows but if you use a different fabric where you can't see what is the top and what is the bottom it's really useful to mark so you do the edges right. Now I have already sewn the edges but I left the piece open for you to sh for to show you so I ironed in one centimeter here and then I folded down a bigger piece for the elastic and that's four centimeters. I used four centimeters for what I have at home this elastic is quite wide maybe in school we have smaller ones then you don't need to fold so much but it doesn't really matter. So you Cut out your fabric and then you iron down the tops and after that you are going to sew the side. And for sewing the sides you don't fold down the edges so I started sewing here and went all the way. You sew with <clears throat> one centimeter seam allowance first. First you sew the straight line here. How to sew with one centimeter seam allowance is in the video about the back and the same about zigzag V in the edges. So first the straight lines, then the zigzags, and after that you do the hem. Again, you can see it in the third part of the bag uh, making videos. So I made the bottom hem where it's one centimeter and one centimeter again, and you see it gets quite nice and straight. This is the wrong side, and from the right side it looks like that. And then you do the same on the top, fold down one centimeter and then four. So it's going to look like this, one centimeter and then four centimeters. And then you sew it down again, all the way around on the edge of the fabric fold. I left uh, <clears throat> quite a big piece unsewn here, just so that I can show you how it looks folded and ironed. But what you will do, you will just leave a, a small hole like that. Don't forget that. What I normally do, I put in a pin across like that to show me that that's where I need to stop. So I have a, a hole there. Maybe I can have it just a bit again. So, so now I'm going to finish sewing this little part. So you see how it is sewn. And then the only thing that is left is to put in the elastics. And I will show you that part. Okay, so remember all the cutting, sewing straight, sewing zigzag and sewing hem, you will find in the video about how to sew a bag. So here is my sewing machine. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. So I took off the box so we can sew round. And there I am. That's where I will start. I put the thread to the back first. That's where I start sewing. Where I finished my sewing, I did backstitch. You always need to do that. Every time you, if you sew one line and you can't sew it in one go and you need to stop, take out the fabric, maybe adjust something, you need to do backstitch and then start with backstitch again. So I'm starting with backstitch now. Oops, it was in the backstitch mode, so now it went backwards. I turn off. I'm sewing close to this edge. I 
Every time you can, you make sure you sew to the inside edge, not here. And I will just stop at the pin and do back stitch. Okay, and I will take it out, cut the thread. Oh, oh well, it's nice. Where are my scissors? I can't find them. So, I'm sorry, my lighting is not very good. I need to get a better arrangement here. So now I put away the sewing machine for a minute. Now we are going to add in the elastic through that little hole here. And for that we need a safety pin. The bigger the better. And I will take these off now, these papers, because we don't need them anymore. So we need a big safety pin. And we need elastics. I cut these elastics I don't remember how many centimeters it was. Mm, 27 by 2, so that is 54 centimeters around. Uh, it will be a bit shorter because we will have to sew together the end of the elastics. Okay, but first this is what we do. <clears throat> I put the safety pin through the elastics and close it. Then I find the hole and go through it with the safety pin and start pushing it through this channel that we made here. And it's not so easy to explain. Most people can learn it quite quickly, but I had a few students who find, found it difficult. So I can feel the safety pin here. You might even see it. I pull from the left, I push the fabric on the safety pin and hold and push and push. So I pushed up a few centimeters. Then I hold the end of the safety pin and pull the fabric. You see, so now this much of the elastic is already in the fabric. And I just continue doing this, pushing it on the safety pin. And when I can't push more, then I pull the fabric off. What you need to be careful off, uh, that this end doesn't go in because then it's you need to start over. So what I usually do <coughs> after I've started, I just put this here and put in a pin to keep this end. <coughs> I'm sorry to keep this end from sliding inside. And then I am just continuing. So I show you once more. I feel the safety pin here, push the fabric on it, like wrinkle it up as much as it goes. When I feel like I can't push more, I hold the end of the safety pin here, let it go from here and just pull the fabric. Only the fabric, not the safety pin. So pull it off. So, and that means that we are pulling in the elastics through the channel. And just continue doing it. My, my skirt is going to be quite wide and there will be lots of wrinkles. So. It might take a time, a bit of time, but if you make it narrower, you can choose how wide you want your skirt. It goes faster. Okay. Getting back to the beginning point. Okay, so now I need to unpin this one. And it didn't go in, so I'm good. I just push a little bit and come out at the end with the safety. So, and with the end of the elastic, I pull it out. There it is. And now I need to sew together these two elastic ends. 
But before I do that, I need to make sure that this elastic is not twisted. If it's twisted in the waistline, it's going to be super uncomfortable. So it takes a bit of adjusting, but you are basically feeling on the inside, is the elastic straight? It feels straight. It's not always easy to say. So I'm going to sew them together like that. If it turns out to be twisted, then we just fix it later. So back with the sewing machine. You need to pull out the elastic a bit so you can put the two pieces overlapping. You see that? Overlapping. And go under the presser foot and just sew across a few times. I usually do forward and back, like with the back stitch bottom. Now I go back. and then go back straight so I just saw a few lines to make sure it doesn't come apart and then once more forward and back stitch to awesome. so this doesn't need to be beautiful or anything but it needs to be strong so it doesn't come apart. So, and cut the beginning of it. And now, oh, I mean, my telephone always goes down in this holder. Okay, so I'm just trying to even out these wrinkles here now. Now the elastic can go in all the way because we have sewn it together oops and I can see it is twisted here now I can see I couldn't feel it at the beginning but now I can see all right so I need to fix it I can fix it off camera I'm just going to show you what is the last step you need to do here is the opening that we left and you go back under the sewing machine and sew from here backstitch all the way there and backstitch and then your skirt is ready okay see you